What's going on everybody, Paul Tech here, and welcome to my series that I'm doing right now where I'm covering a variety of cases for the LG Stylo 4. I got about 20 cases in total, so I'll be doing these videos quite often as well as doing a giveaway on some of these cases. This is the case right here that I am reviewing today, and it is from a company called Jillica. So basically what you're getting here is TPU soft painted pattern, full protection for the Stylo 4. Comes in four different colors. I got the color Lily here, and it retails for $7.82 off of Amazon. Link in the description below this video if you are interested in picking this case up. Now I am going to go ahead and open up the packaging now, place the case on my Stylo 4 and share with you the type of protection and the type of quality you can expect from this case. Now when it comes to the design to the back of the case here, it actually does look pretty nice. There's a good amount of detail and it's not like a sticker that is just placed to the back of a clear case. There was actually a painting process that did occur to get the image to the back of this case. Now removing the insert, unfortunately there is no tempered glass screen protector included with this purchase like you see on some other cases that I've reviewed and you're basically getting TPU soft material and so this is going to be you know a pretty flexible type of case as well the back image doesn't appear to be picking up fingerprints or oils off my skin I got the LG Stylo 4 here I'm going to go ahead and install it into the case here show you the installation how simple it is as you can see just sliding in the bottom everything snapped in and then getting the corners up on top go ahead and get this corner here and that is basically it I got it there and uh, you got the case on you have a nice snug fit with this case so it's not gonna feel loose filling with the style of four in it you are getting a little bit of a raised lip to the front of this case which is gonna provide some lay on the table protection let's go ahead and take a look at the right hand side as you can see you got your cut out there for your power button so your power button is going to be exposed not covered up to the bottom precise cutouts there for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack microphone type c charging port down firing speaker and stylus everything looking nice left hand side you got your cutout there for your volume rocker so again those will be exposed with this case taking a look up on top you also got a pretty good cutout there for your noise cancellation mic and taking a look at the back of the case as you can see the cutouts are extremely precise as well with the rear facing camera the led flash as well as the fingerprint sensor and you're getting a good amount of protection protection to the back so if you do lay this flat on a surface your rear facing camera should be protected as well this case is not going to add a whole lot of bulk also and it does look pretty nice like I said you are going to get that high definition painting process to the back of this case and there are a variety of styles to choose from as well and what I want to do next is test out the power button so pressing the power button it's nice and easy to press because the case is not covering it it is exposed and cut out to the side there fingerprint sensor is working pretty good as well no issues there so the case is not going to be interfering with your fingerprint sensor whatsoever next thing I'll test out is the volume rockers and the same thing just like the power button they are exposed so they're nice and easy to press the case is not covering it so everything is functioning as it should with the case on all right testing out the camera now because sometimes cases can interfere with your rear facing camera and as you can see there no interference whatsoever you're still going to be able to use your camera perfectly fine and moving on from the camera next thing I'm going to test out is the removal of the stylus and as you can see I can remove the stylus perfectly fine with the case on and again in these case reviews I want to try to give you guys as much information possible so you know exactly how these cases will function on your style of four before you actually jump on Amazon and purchase uh, but as you can see very accurate even with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there's really no issues there either I can plug in a pair of headphones and the cutout is accurate so no issues when it comes to any of the cutouts to the bottom of the case. So to wrap up this case review regarding the Jilica case off of Amazon, I think it is a pretty good option for you if you are thinking about picking this up. It's gonna offer a good amount of protection without adding a whole lot of bulk to your style of four. You get a good amount of grip from the sides as well as the back. And again, you are getting that nice painted pattern to the back of the case. And if you go on Amazon, there's actually four different patterns to choose from. I guess my only area of concern is how well well, this painted pattern will hold up over time will it start fading will it start chipping but which those results are to be 
determine with long-term use, but I'm not gonna be keeping this case. I'm actually gonna be giving this case away. So if you're interested in winning this specific case, all you gotta do is own a Stylo 4, join the LG Stylo Facebook community. The link is in the description below of this video, and there I am gonna be giving this case away. If you're interested in purchasing this case, the link is in the description below of this video as well. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.